Good morning and happy Tuesday, friends. As always, nice to be with you. I pray that you are well in body, mind, and soul, and that these prayers continue that wellness and depth of spirituality that we are all looking for. Once again, we'll set our sights on this beautiful part of God's creation. Uh, take a moment to be still and know that God is God, and then begin those prayers. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins, and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God be in our heads and in our understanding. God be in our eyes and in our looking. God be in our mouths and in our speaking. God be in our hearts and in our thinking. God be in our hands and in our embracing. God be in our prayers and in our listening. Amen. First reading comes from Corinthians chapter 3, 1 Corinthians. According to the grace of God given to me like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold and silver and precious stones, wood, hay, and straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what each has built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple, and that God's Spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools, so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of the world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future. All belongs to you and you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle again from Hebrews chapter 12. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. 
we have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. The second reading is from Luke chapter 18. Jesus took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. After they have flogged him, they will kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. But they understood nothing about all these things. In fact, what he said was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. As he approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening, and they told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Then he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who were in front of him sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he shouted even more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still, and he ordered the man to be brought to him, and when he came near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? And he said, Lord, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, praised God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Again, some prayers of thanksgiving. From J.H. Jowett. O God, our Father, we would thank Thee for all the bright things of life. Help us to see them and to count them and to remember them, that our lives may flow in ceaseless praise for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And from Thomas Trahern. Is not sight a jewel, and is not hearing a treasure? Is not speech a glory? O my Lord, pardon my ingratitude and pity my dullness, who am not sensible of these gifts. The freedom of thy bounty hath deceived me. These things were too near to be considered, Thou presented me with thy blessings, but I was not aware. But now I give thanks and adore and praise thee for thy inestimable favors. Amen. And this prayer from John Bell of the Iona community in Scotland. You keep us waiting, you the God of all time. Want us to wait for the right time in which to discover who we are, where we must go, who will be with us and what we must do. So thank you for the waiting time. You keep us looking. You, the God of all space, want us to look in the right places and the wrong places for signs of hope, for people who are hopeless, for visions of a better world which will appear among the disappointments of the world we know. So thank you for the looking time. 
You keep us loving, you, the God whose name is love. We want to be like you, to love the loveless and the unlovely and the unlovable, to love without jealousy or design or threat, and most difficult of all, to love ourselves. So thank you for the loving time. And in all of this, you keep us through hard questions with no easy answers, through failing where we hoped to succeed and making an impact where we felt useless, through the patience and the dreams and the love of others, and through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, you keep us. So thank you, Lord, for the keeping time, and for now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. Amen, amen, alleluia. Great to be with you this morning. Continue to give thanks, to be still, and know that God is God. And I'll see you next time.